Hello guys and welcome to the channel. I am Mar. This is Readings by Marvelous for Dam Tarot. This is going to be a three card energy reading carrying us through or closing the energy of the month of March 2024 for the beautiful sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Virgo, everything you need is below in the description box for you and your collective. And Virgo, ouch. Sorry, guys. Uh, I owe you an apology because when I closed your energy out for February, um, I thought I recorded your fourth video and turns out I didn't. Nobody said anything. I just noticed that when I was associating each one of the videos with your master link that has all of your videos in it. Well, you know, that I that I create that's in the description box in case you miss something. Every pent comment is going to have your master list. So you never have to say, Marv, where you been? I didn't get my video. When I was doing that, Virgo, I realized I only did three videos rather than four for you last month. So um, I apologize for that. I apologize and I apologize. All right. So um, you guys have to let me know. Sometimes I'm going so quick when I'm both recording. Um, I try to do things and I crossed you off and looked and I was like, I did not do Virgo a video. So my apologies, uh, my Virgos hope this message finds you well and in good spirits. Let's go ahead. A couple of things while I'm shuffling. If you're interested in the personal reading, the, the, you can book that at www.marvelousmadame.com. Okay. Schedule has been updated. Please listen up on April 1st. I know it's April Fool's Day, but this will not be an April Fool's joke for the newly um, determined launch day. We're going, we're going to be relaunching Marvelous Damn Candle Co.'s um, page. Okay. Um, we've updated some things. We got, and we also have some channel updates. This is for Virgo. Thank you for letting me run through that. Remember, everything you need is below in the description box for you and your collective. And in the pink comments, what do we have for Virgo? You to them or them to you is just energy. If it resonates, great. If it doesn't, let it escape. I like this. Leading the, the, the charge in the pack is, oh, look at you, Virgo. A uh, Ace of Pentacles, which in this blended deck is the world card. Okay. Then we're following that up with the Eight of Swords which in this particular blended deck is the justice card. And we're ending with, give me my last card for Virgo spirit. Oh, eight of wands. Some of you guys are waiting on a payment, a judgment, an approval. Your wait, some of you guys are moving out of the country. Waiting on the job offer, waiting on the approval for a house. Some of you guys are waiting on a judgment. Someone owes you money, okay? This is something that you agonized over um, because you did not think that this was going to go in your favor, Virgo. Wow. Um, first and foremost, with the Ace of Pentacles, let's talk about this first, leading this energy. You know, you're going into your abundance. Um, some of you guys have bought a home or you're, you're, you're in the process of waiting on an approval for a mortgage. Congratulations. But the world in, the, in, in, um, in this card, in this blended deck indicates an, an integration. Um, it indicates old cycles closing and newness finally coming to you. And it kind of feels like a redemption story, Virgo, because it's looking like with the Eight of Swords, which is something that you were afraid of or something that you were mentally restricted, restrictive about because there was no faith or you had no reason to believe in it. Or maybe this is just a situation where you worked hard and you kept trying to apply for a mortgage and it was a daunting task. And then all of a sudden justice came and you got your just due. I can remember um, there was a um, an associate of mine who 
Um, her um, partner kept trying to get approval for a house. He already had a home. It was a fixer upper, but that was his first home. Then he wanted this other home and he qualified and he paid one thing late <laughs> by mistake. And he literally paid that thing off and waited for a year. I mean, he was determined. Um, and then he ended up getting that big house, which ended up just being way too much, but he ended up getting it. But not saying that this is way too much, but it, it kind of feels like that. That would be a redemption story where, you know, you got some type of disappointment on the front end, but then it ended up working out and it's coming in fast. Quick move of communication with this eight of wands. It's going to be, um, the, the communication is already moving and maybe it took for Mercury to retrograde. And I, I really, really do need to do my commentary about, about retrogrades and planets, um, um, and, and ADM, uh, all direct motion versus the other half of the year when things are retrograde. Honestly, guys, the misconception, just to give you the little point really quick is that when things are in retrograde, it sucks. And then when, when things are in all direct motion, um, you know, it's the greatest thing since sliced bread. Theoretically, that may sound logical, but honestly, the best things manifest during retrograde. All direct motion, when all of these planets are direct motion, I feel like that's when everything goes down. So it's almost as if you should manifest what you want and get things, get the ball moving. This is what I tell my, um, my clients. Get the ball moving, set intentions, make those calls, put those applications in, have those conversations, apply for those jobs when planets are in ADM. Then when planets go retro, all of that halts while the planet is asleep, other things come back. It almost is giving you a reset to be like, did you really want that? Is this the house you wanted? Is that the car you wanted? Is this the job you wanted? Then you got six months to work through when the planets are asleep and some of these planets need to be asleep because when they are awake, hell breaks loose, okay? And then when they come direct, when they become direct again for the first six months or so of the year, that's when all of those things come back to you. If it was meant, it's yours. Sort of like that is how I put it, I put it together. Why are these cards here for Virgo? Thank you, spirit. All right, yes. This is something that hurts you. This is definitely something that hurts you. Yep, yep, yep. What I am seeing, though, that's clarifying my ace of pentacles and the world is the three of cups. That's an interesting clarifier for this. I'll get to that. Then we have the eight of swords um, and in this blended deck also being the justice card is the nine of pentacles. And then with our eight of wands um, is the star. So, hmm. If it's not one of those approvals, the three, how does a three of cups play a part of this? All right, you're making me work. It looks like it may have to do with a bigger picture. Like a three of cups obviously is about harmony, har harmonious celebrations, gathering with friends. As a situation, it's an invitation. So it still applies. It's like, if this is a thing, then it's like you're finally getting that invitation, which in turn could be that approval that it, it still kind of applies. It's like an invitation to a wedding reception, a school reunion. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's not what I'm thinking that this is. I think that because it's talking about celebration, it could just be clarifying that now you are going to have the long awaited situ uh, celebration due to the fact that you finally are getting the just due that you deserve, Virgo. So that's how I think this is. It's time to celebrate. It's time to celebrate. Eight of Swords being clarified by the Nine of Pentacles. You know, Nine of Pentacles is definitely what you're on right now single person card, you know, you are finally going to be able to celebrate. Okay. There's that word again, your independence, a person, a, a, a personal victory. 
Okay. It, this is an, uh, a, indi a indication of a lifestyle that you wanted. You know what I'm saying? And the situation is like, maybe this is self employ self employment, whatever this is. Again, you're celebrating and in this eight of swords, it could have been something that you were afraid of. Maybe some of you guys got a loan, got a business loan, and now you're going to be, you know, again, um, um, going into your own business. At the end of the day, it was something that was daunting and scary. And now you are being able to pat yourself on the back because your self perseverance and your self sufficiently self sufficiency has finally paid off. So you deserve this nine of pentacles. Justice has come back to you. It's like, I, I told you it, it was a, a redemption story. That's what it felt like in the beginning when I saw this card combination. I said, oh, this is, this is for your hard work, uh, Virgo. Here you go. This is, this is what you deserve for working as hard as you did. And now look, even when you were afraid, even when you didn't have the support of the people that's in this three of cups card. When it was no time to celebrate and you was putting up, you was grinding. Here you go. And then the eight of, of wands is again being clarified by the star, hope, healing, and optimism. There is an optimism here. There is a hope that this is going to come. This is a clarifying that whatever approval you're waiting for, the abundance is coming. But it, this is also you healed. You healed from the adversity that this energy brought you previously. Like whatever setbacks you 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 uh, overcame, now it's time for the big payoff. It's, it's time for the big payback. This feels like a now. Nah, I told you. It, 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 there there's some parts of this that feels like uh now I'm getting back. Not that someone wronged you, but it definitely feels like. Uh-uh, now what? How you like me now type of situation. Not in a in particular person type of way, but this is definitely a under, an underdog story. It feels like there were obstacles in your way that did not support where you were going. Okay, looking back at me, we do have the energy of the nine of swords indicating that, yep, this is it, indicating that you were, you lost uh, uh, plenty of hours of sleep over this situation. And then we have the page of swords indicative of constant communication coming your way, constant messages of you didn't do this, you didn't do that, or you're not approved for this, or you're not approved for, of that. And now this is all coming back. This is kind of exciting, Virgo. If it resonates, let me know what this is. The only thing that remains is the star and the clarifying energy. And then in the main energy, we do have justice and finally the ace of pentacles and or the world. That is beautiful. It's all coming together now. After all the adversity that you face and all of the setbacks you've overcome, now it's finally your time to shine. Like, share, and subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. Everything you need is below in the description box for you and your collective. And I will see you in April, Virgo. Bye, guys.